Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mariola. If you've been here before, you know my voice isn't usually this raspy. We had a birthday party last night and we were karaoke till about 2.30 a.m. So I kind of lost my voice, but it was quite the performance. And today we are going to El Junque. So in preparation, I'm going to be taking a Magic Mind shot. If you've heard about them before and if you haven't, I'll tell you a little bit about them. I have collaborated with them in the past. They helped me go through my law school finals. It's basically like a green tea shot with a couple of other ingredients that you can take in order to get energized and also focused so I really loved collaborating with them in the past and I'm super excited to do so again today because they're just opening their Amazon store as well so you can also order it through their website or their Amazon store so you can take it as a shot you can also integrate it into like an iced matcha green tea latte which was what I like to do and it's what I'm gonna do today in order to get some energy because we are going to El Junque. Again, if you've been here before, I have talked about how there's a reservation system. You have to reserve it like two days in advance to go to El Junque. That's no longer. We don't have a reservation system anymore and you also don't have to pay $2 per car. We have a couple of other El Junque videos if you want to check them out. We've done some crazy UTV rides but also a very intense hike. Today we're going for a more chill vibe. So we are going to be doing just something that's called an Angelitos Trail. It is a very short. It leads you to this nice little river and we're going to relax and maybe go to the visitor center enjoy the views and that's it because those are the vibes today so let's get into the video in this bag i have my productivity shots which is super easy to carry around if you want to take it just as a shot the bag and shots have some information regarding the ingredients such as the fact that it has matcha nootropics adaptogens and agave and all of this together helps you increase your focus and attention without getting the caffeine crash decreasing stress and low-grade anxiety and honestly one of my favorite things is the fact that you get such a great benefit with energy and focus without getting any jitters increased heart rate or crush I know it's not Christmas yet, but I don't know why drinking an iced matcha drink in a mason jar just tastes so much better. And first step, you gotta shake it well so all the ingredients mix well. And then my usual mix is with oat milk, but I ran out of it. So I made it with some unsweetened almond milk, which is why I had to add some sugar to it. And then voila, this is the drink. Okay. Something I love about Magic Mind is the fact that they're always perfecting their recipe and always creating a different and better version of the product. And I have to say, the first time I tried it, I remember in the video I said there was like a sediment that would create at the bottom that just would create a really weird aftertaste that took a little bit of getting used to, but I still got used to it and I enjoy it. There is no longer that aftertaste. I'm not sure what exactly they changed, but I feel like they have perfected the recipe and I really, really like the fact that there's no aftertaste. So it's going down really smoothly. Perfect. Now, let's go to El Junque. We surprisingly hit no traffic this Sunday morning, so we got to El Junque pretty quickly, and the weather was also on our side, which was very nice. We haven't been yet, but a little bit before the entrance to the rainforest, they have this zip lining park, as well as this restaurant that we always pass but have yet to go to. Getting to Angelitos Trail was pretty easy. You can find it on the iPhone maps. I will warn you that the road is pretty narrow, so if you got a car coming the opposite way, then you'd have to scoot to the side and wait for them to pass. To the right is the river where the Angelito Trail ends in, so if you want to just skip the trail and just go to the river, you can park by the side of this road and head straight there. But if not, just drive down a little further while you'll see the sign for Angelito's Trail like we did. Here is the map for the trail, which took us a little under 15 minutes one way, and it was pretty easy trail with no strenuous or slippery paths and lots of flora.
And now we finally arrived to the end of the trail where you can find the river. I remember the first time I took my husband to El Junque, we came to the river directly and we were literally the only two people there, which was so nice, but today it was very packed. Be warned, the river has plenty of fish swimming around in case that's not your thing. As you can see, the water was pretty murky, but you can see all the fish passing by. Then it was time to walk back to the car, same route that we took getting there. And since it was a pretty quick hike, we went over to the visitor center, which was way back at the entrance to El Junque. Since we were two adults, we had to pay $8 each, but kids under 15 years old enter free. The visitor center was fun. You get a lot of information regarding the history, hikes, and animals that are native to the rainforest. And my favorite part was this bridge that leads you to the entrance where you get an amazing view of the ocean. If you've seen our previous Junke hiking video, we did the Mount Britain Trail, which was pretty intense, and it was so cool to find it on this map of the rainforest, including its elevation info. I think one of my husband's favorite part was seeing the Puerto Rican parrot, La Cotorra Puerto Riqueña. And as any other tourist attraction, there is a cute gift shop where you can get your own parrots, Christmas ornaments, and more. But FYI, they do not sell water bottles here. Instead, they sell reusable bottles and have refillable stations around the center. We then went to the restaurant to have some lunch, which I was pretty nervous on because restaurants at tourist attractions are usually pretty meh, but I was pleasantly surprised. The ham croquettes were really good as well as the burgers that we got.
and that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for joining me i hope you guys enjoyed it and please make sure to check out magic mind i will make sure to link everything down below their website as well as their amazon page and my discount code if you guys want i have michelle 20 is my code and you can get up to 56 percent off your first subscription in the next 10 days so thank you so much again magic mind and thank you guys so much for joining me and i will see you in the next one bye